Hey guys, it's Dr. Robotnik64, and uh, this is sort of a different video because it's not a gameplay video, and it is a type of video I've done before, but haven't done in a while. Uh, this is actually another review video, and the thing I'm reviewing this time is the new uh, YouTube One channel layout. So as you probably know already, YouTube recently introduced a new uh, channel layout, which is called the YouTube One channel layout. And this new channel layout is, of course, a lot different than the previous YouTube channel layout. But to tell you the truth, I think it might actually be better than the previous one. With the new YouTube One channel layout, YouTube added a whole bunch of things that you can do to your channel now. And in this video, I'll review these things that you can do to it now. So here's my channel, and as you can see, I'm using the new YouTube One channel layout. And as you can see, it looks much different from the previous one. There's a variety of things you can do now, one of which is add channel art. So as you can see, there's a new button called add channel art. And apparently to add channel art, you have to sign into Google Docs, or also known as Google Documents, in order to actually change it. Now, for some reason, though, I can't seem to access it right now. It says, as you can see, the feature is currently unavailable. So I have no idea why I can't use it at the moment, but the thing about the channel art, though, is that your channel art will appear for people who are using other things to browse YouTube, like the iPad, for instance. Your channel art will also appear if you're using the Xbox Live version of YouTube. Another new feature is that you can add sections to your YouTube channel homepage. So as you can see, there was a button down below called Add Section, so there's three uh, default sections, recent uploads, popular uploads, and playlists. So all your videos and playlists go in there now, those sections. Now when adding sections, you can choose which content you want to have appear in that section, like recent posts here for instance. And you can choose from two different layouts, horizontal row or vertical list. And then when you click done, there you go, the section's been added. Another new feature is that you can add a channel trailer here as you can see. And basically what the channel trailer is, is that it's a video that only unsubscribed users, or basically people that are not subscribed to you, can view. And only unsubscribed viewers. It will not appear for people who are subscribed to you. As you can see, you can choose from a list of videos. Now basically, the purpose of the channel trailer is for people who are not subscribed to you, it's basically a video describing what your channel is all about. So that way, the people that are not subscribed to you could possibly become interested in your channel, and it encourages them to subscribe, so yeah. Now there's two different options you can choose here, actually. As you can see, there's unsubscribe trailer, but you can also choose uh, subscriber view. And once again, this is only for unsubscribe viewers. But subscriber view, as you can see, instead of a channel trailer, you get this. Recent uploads, as you can see, or recent activity. And also, what to watch next, which is my, I guess, most recently uploaded video. As you can see, your channel itself is also divided into different sections, the home page. But there's also videos, discussion, and about. And videos is basically all your videos. Discussion is you can post comments on your channel, or people can post comments on your channel. And about is, well, ab all about your channel. So as you can see, all this information, instead of appearing on the right side of the screen as it used to in the previous layout, it now appears here instead. As you can see up on top, it also lists your amount of subscribers, your amount of video views, and the video manager as well. I'm not sure what view as public is, though. If you have a Twitter account, as you can see, uh, the little Twitter icon will appear next to your channel art. The link to my Lean Master production account is also there for whatever reason. Now another thing that they changed is the amount of channels you can actually feature on, well, your channel. So as you can see right here, these are all the channels that I have featured on my account because these are all my favorite channels, channels that I actually like watching. Not for copying people, just gonna throw that out there. And actually, some of my favorite channels are actually music channels. Some of them are neither gaming nor music channels, but anyway. Now, in the previous YouTube layout, the amount of channels that you could feature on your channel was only 16. But as you saw just right up there, I have 30 channels listed here. So you can feature even more channels on your account now. So as you can see, 30. Now, I'm not exactly sure if there's a new limit to how many channels you can feature now, or if there is even a limit anymore. Maybe you can put an infinite number of channels here. Now, here's another few things that they've changed. As you can see, the people that you're subscribed to uh, appears to the left of the screen now, and it also notifies you when there's new activity on that channel as well. Your featured channels also appear to the right of the screen now, but in basically a uh, smaller list. But there is a little button called See All, so you can see all the featured channels. So there you go, here's a sort of better view of that new feature, so as you can see right here, it says new activity. There's also two new buttons called browse channels and manage subscriptions. I'm not exactly sure what these buttons do though, so I'll have to check that out. 
I also forgot to mention, your avatar appears near your channel art as well now. Now on your favorite channels, to the right side of the screen right there, there's something called Intelligent Shuffle. And apparently, if you have more channels than what YouTube can actually display there, it just cycles through all the channels, so that they all have a chance to be shown. And sorry, I meant to say feature channels, but yeah, so... Basically, somebody that has too many featured channels that not all of them can be listed there, it just cycles through them every time you refresh the page. So every time you refresh the page, there will be different channels appearing there. And it does it in a way so that all the channels that you have featured on your channel can appear there. And I think that's pretty much all I have to say about the new uh, YouTube One channel layout, so I think I pretty much covered everything. Uh, I did forget one thing, though. Um, in order to apply some certain settings to your channel, in order to get some of the settings, like in order to actually access them, your account needs to be in good standing. Otherwise, you won't get access to some of the uh, settings that you can use for on your channel. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much everything, or at least everything I can think of, so yeah. So, to be honest, um, this new YouTube channel layout, it's actually not, not too bad, to be honest. There are some things that I don't really understand, though, because... When you're looking at somebody's videos page, you can still view, like, you can view all their videos, but you can still view their most popular videos as well. But the thing is, is that their most popular videos is actually a section on that person's home page. Or at least it's a section by default anyway. But still, when you switch to the new YouTube One Channel Layout, your most popular videos, which basically arranges all your videos from the highest amount of views to lowest amount of views, it's already made into a section by default. So I don't really see what's the point of the most popular videos button still being there when you can just view it on that person's channel homepage. Unless they remove that section, because you can still remove the sections that YouTube does make on your channel by default. But for people who don't want to remove it, I still think it's kind of pointless. It's the same thing with the playlist. On the videos page of a person's channel, you can still view their playlist there, but playlists are already made into a section on their home page of their channel. So when you're browsing the videos page on a person's channel, I think it's just kind of pointless to just keep the playlist button and the most popular button thing still there. Because you could just view these things on the home page of their channel through uh, the sections. And actually, that's pretty much the only complaint I have about this uh, new YouTube channel layout. That's the only thing I really don't understand about that. I just find that the button still being there when you can just view them elsewhere on a person's channel is just kind of pointless. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much all I have to say about the YouTube One channel layout then. So, it's actually a pretty interesting channel layout. It's actually not so bad as people think it is. And I know that a lot of people think it is bad because I've seen a lot of hate comments directed towards YouTube because of the new YouTube channel layout. More than likely, though, these people probably didn't even look at the new YouTube channel layout. They were probably too lazy to check out everything that the new YouTube channel layout has to offer. Or they probably just noticed that, well, YouTube just released a new channel layout, but I don't actually have to switch over to it, so... Even though I've never even seen the new YouTube channel layout before, I'm just going to assume that it looks terrible. Like, seriously, people, don't judge a book by its cover. When the previous YouTube channel layout was originally released, I thought it looked bad as well, but... I later adapted to it. I got used to it. In one of my videos, I mentioned that the previous YouTube channel layout, when it was originally released, it was a bit more difficult to navigate, but I actually got used to that, and I don't think it's difficult to navigate anymore. You just have to learn to deal with it, pretty much. Sure, some of the changes that they might have made to YouTube over the past couple of years might have been absolutely ridiculous, but it's not the end of the world, for goodness sakes. You have to learn to deal with it. But yeah, I do really think that the new YouTube One Channel layout does look pretty interesting, so I think I am going to use it for now on, actually, so yeah. But yeah, so that concludes my review of the new YouTube One Channel layout, so yeah. If you don't like the layout, though, if you have actually looked at it and you don't like it, then you don't have to switch over to it. YouTube's not forcing you to uh, switch over to it, at least not right now, anyway. But yeah, so I guess that's pretty much it, then. So from now on, I'm going to be using the new uh, YouTube One Channel layout, then, so yeah. Pretty interesting channel layout then. So that's pretty much it then for this video. So this is Dr. Robotnik64. Thank you for watching. If you want, feel free to like or favorite this video or maybe subscribe. And also feel free to follow me on Twitter as I post alerts about videos I've recently uploaded to there. The link to my Twitter account is in the description of all my videos, including this one. So yeah. But that's it for now. So I'll see you guys in the next review video that I make or whatever video I make. So yeah. Later.